ingredient to AA Home Gardening. I'm going to try something totally different today. I'm going to try and see if I can have my own manure. So I'm going to have some chicken poo. So in order to get the chicken poo, I need some chicken. So I bought this very cute, cute, cute incubator. Isn't it cute? I think it's cute. Looks just like a chicken. And I'm going to put six eggs in there. I haven't, I haven't used it before. So just an experiment. So everyone going to go through this journey together. So I have the nice water bottle. Like a bot um, baby bottle here. And there's a little, a little hole just right there. Like a tiny hole. Right at the side. We're going to feed it with some water. It should have apparently 25 milliliters of water. But there's also another hole at the other side. So if you accidentally put too much water in, it will come back through that hole. Okay. So it's not plugged in because you know water and electricity don't really go. So we're going to put the water in first. And if it works normal and you get the nice level in, then we plug it in and do the other stages. So we're going to get a little bottle and we're going to feed the water in all of it. Feed all the water in the machine. <laughs> Not like that's in this way. Just squeeze it in. So once, so if you look, it's just a little pointy bit like that, and you can just there. The taste of the water is coming out. So just put all of it in. Be gentle. Don't break it. So this is a, an experiment for my boys as well. So we're going to have some write-up, how it went, what happened after a couple of days, all the changes, everything. So it's going to be an educational thing for the boys as well. But I'll be benefiting in the sense that I have some chicken in my garden that's going to give me some nice chicken poo-poo and also to take some of the bugs out of the garden. So we put the water in. And hopefully, we get enough water in there. And then afterwards, we'll pour it up. Set the temperature at the front. And then I think it should be 20 days or so. I should have some nice chicken. And it's nice and clear, so you don't have to keep lifting it up. To see if any movement's happening. So I just do this part, and then come back to you. Now that the water is in, see just a little bit left over there. We're going to plug it in and then we're trying to so we can test the temperature. Could you plug it, plug it in please? So it should be set at 38 Celsius. So make sure when you're angling water and electricity, there's no water around the plug area, all those things. Okay. So this is a like an experiment. So it's an up and down arrow. I'm going to try and see if we can aim to get to 38. So let's go up. Oops. Well. So let's see if we can adjust it. Um, press, probably press set first. 38. There you go. So that's now 38. You can see 38 there. So after you set it to 38, we're going to keep the machine running to warm up. I'm just reading this instruction here as I go along because I'm still not sure how to set this thing up. So the controller is set as that and everything. You're going to let it, let it sit there for like 10 minutes. Once the temperature is set, then we have to turn off the machine for another 10 to 20 minutes. So warm up the machine for 10 to 20 minutes. So now is, what time is it? Now is 5 minutes to 4 thereabout. So we're going to let it run. So all I did was put the water in, plug it in, set the temperature. And then I'm going to continue this 10 to 20 minutes when the machine is warm up. Okay. A oh, quick thing so it's set to 38 degree so i have to press set again and then you will see it warming up so when i press set it's now on 33.6 and i can see it climbing so when it reaches 38 degrees celsius 
then you know it's at the right temperature okay and that's why you require the 10 to 20 minutes wait to make sure it's warm up properly okay so we're learning this thing together gonna be so exciting to see the chicken so i'll come back to you in 10 minutes time it's been about seven minutes there about and all this is happening is that the temperature keep going up and down so i think it goes up and down until the temperature reaches exactly what is set at which is quite weird because it went over 338 before then it went back down to 37 and it climbed back up so that's all that is happening at the moment it was just going up and down so you can actually see the temperature going up and down at the moment it have now been 20 minutes since we're warming up the machine so it's still getting a bit over 38 so it should be warm enough so we have to unplug the machine to put the eggs in then plug back the machine in and set it again to 38 okay so the eggs need to be turned every two to three days after turn the eggs over and we have to put water every other day okay so we're going to unplug the machine now and then we're going to take off the cover and then what happened i'm taking a gamble this is just eggs from the shop so this is not like proper eggs to hatch or anything so it's an experiment in every way possible so this is just some random organic eggs the machine can hold nine in there this is um six eggs so we're gonna place um the eggs in and then we're gonna turn the machine back on so we're gonna do so each of the boys are gonna put like three eggs each in there and then I don't know. Have any one of you guys tried um, hatching normal supermarket eggs? Was it successful or not? I would love to know. So this is an experiment that I'm hoping works. So that's our six eggs in. And then we're going to cover back the machine. And then we're going to plug it back in. then now we're going to wait to see okay i probably just set it back first and at 38 so 38 is on 38 then i press set again and hopefully it climbs up there and stay there so i'm looking forward to see if i can have my own little chicken running around scratching everything up and then and then I have some nice chicken poo poo for my garden, ch chicken manure. So I see you guys in probably 18 days, days there about when there's movements going on. And usually chicken should be out maximum 22 days. So that's my chicken experiment. And I see you soon if you have tried it before. I'm trying to hatch normal eggs from the supermarket. Please let me know how you got on. Eggs are now seven or eight days. So we're going to check to see if there are any fertile ones in there. So I have a normal phone camera using. Just anything that's hollow to balance the egg. We're going to put it over there. And as you can see, the temperature is supposed to be 38. And it's now 38. Yep, it was one and they're going to exactly 38 now. So we're going to turn off the main light and then we're going to start candling the, the egg. So basically the candling process is just to see if we can find any embryo or anything showing inside the eggs. And then we can know if we're going to be successful or not. So we're going to turn off the main light and take out the eggs one by one. We're going to put it on our makeshift candling thing here. Just put a wheel from the boy's toy over the camera then we're gonna put the eggs on one by one so we have to get the room as dark as possible and then take out the eggs one by one and then hopefully it's still not dark enough so i need to get this light off hold on there we go let's see if there's anything happening in this egg 
You can't see an embryo or anything going on. Uh, what do you think, guys? Yeah, I think I can see. Is that a knife? Is that like a dark spot there? Oh, let me turn it over. You see, so having the little wheel on top of the light allows us to maneuver it much better. Don't shake me, sweetheart. So you can see, I think this one is fertile. You can see like a, like a hair pocket there. And thing, I think, let's see, you can see no movement if you move it. Let's see, anything moving yeah, in there? Let's that see. Like yeah, let's see the color. The color looking good. So it looks looking hopeful in this one, I think. Looking hopeful. You can see I'm like a dark, the darker little spot there. You know, I'm gonna show like an embryo moving. So I think you can see the dark spot I'm looking for. That's a dark spot right there. So that one definitely looks like something gonna happen in there. So you're gonna take out the other one bit by bit and then test them. So that's what we're gonna do with all of them and see if there's anything happening. So usually I wait like a week or so to do this kangling process because if it's too early then nothing will be happening. Mommy. Can I see something maybe? Right there. Let's see. Let's see. Can I look through the camera? Yes, let's look through the camera. Okay, so the command seems to see movements going on. So there's a waiting game still guys. Usually and they look like differentiation between the black and thing the black there look like something is definitely happening usually when it's not fertile it's just more of a hollow no excessive darkness going on and then you know it's where that egg is not going to work but so far these two look promising let's take another one and look so these should definitely start showing some movements in 20 days guys Oh, I must say the first set of eggs we started with that we bought straight from the shop. We waited. We didn't see any movement. We did. It's a nice, nice black spot. There. Can you see that, guys? Wow, look at that one. There's something definitely happening there. Nice, nice black spot there. So the first eggs we started with was straight from the shop. And when we started the candling process, they didn't look like this. So we actually aborted and decided we want to see if we can get some eggs from a local farm that we had some um, roosters and things. So the possibility of the egg being fertile will be much more higher. So that's what we did. So this set of eggs is the second round. This one definitely looked promising. So that's what happened in there, guys. So this particular egg came straight from the farm. This one looking quite good, quite, quite promising. So three, good so far. Let's do the next three. So yes, guys, we want our own eggs. Oops. Not only for manure, but also we can move the chicken around in the garden to help to scratch it up and turn over the soil. Wow, you can see that clear, like a sack there, like could um, wow, okay. They're not looking bad as I said these one come straight from the farm so hopefully not looking bad not looking bad at all so okay that's four and there's a little I think it's probably not even dark enough to show but yeah okay hopefully in the next three four days probably even clearer so yes four two more to go so, you know, they sell all these um, expensive kangling type thingies. No, you just take your phone, guys. You could put it directly on the phone, but I think once I put something hollow to balance the egg, it's much, much more easier. So, all of them look like they're fertile now, guys. I can see little dark spots and things in them, which is quite good. So, what you're doing is just turning the eggs every day. At the moment, now for the first uh, first week pass, we're trying to turn it twice a day and make sure I keep the water topped up and everything as I show you how to do all those things already. And then the last egg, let's see. 
I mean, these can change and look different in the weeks or days to come. Oh, they all look promising, guys. Really, really look promising. So in the next couple of days, we'll see. But hopefully I capture. I can see like a dark spot there. Hopefully we capture the birds and the chicken. Actually, they're going to be so good. It's, as I said, it's an experiment for the boys. But it's also going to benefit the garden, you know, chicken manure. And using the chicken to turn over the soil. So happy, happy, happy days. And you can see this go on moving. Mm-hmm. Looking good, guys. Looking very promising. So I'm not going to keep it all much longer. So that's the candling process. So we'll show you the next update very soon. This is the egg after 15 days. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. The embryo is moving. Can you see that, guys? Can you see that? Hope you can see that. Can you see the movement? Yes, I hope you can. So it's actually, this one is alive wow i saw that so clear can you see that guys wow that looked like when a baby just kick look at that my granny post sorry the making slang there wow that's a live live chicken in there that one definitely did something wow 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 after 15 days i hope you can see what i'm seeing it's moving mm -hmm. so clear Wow, 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 wow. Let me put it back in and keep it warm. Thank Let's you. try another one. Thank you. Here's another one, guys. This one having movement as well. Not as clear as the first, but you can see. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is clear as first. <laughs> wow, did you see that? Yes. I'm going to have chicken, guys. Wow, the incubator. Wow. Guys, I incubated my own eggs from a garden. Isn't that just superb? I can actually see movement going on 15 days after they've been placed in the incubator. And only if I had a good phone, because this phone is picking up the movement, but it's not as sharp as the naked eye is showing it. So yes, guys, something happening with the eggs. I'm guaranteed to have at least two little chick chick. So that's another one. So I'm going to look for another one now and show you. Here's one that I've changed since we look at it last. Doesn't look like it's fertile anymore. It just uh oh, just nothing specific showing, no darkness, no vein, no nothing. So that's one of the ones that look like it's not gonna make it. Let's look at the others. So they're all back in. I've test moved the, most of them. Five look five look promising, one look like it's probably not gonna make it. So they're back in the incubator and it's now on 38.1 so they're keeping up the temperature for 38 so today's day 15 guys so five days six day maximum we should see some chicks i'm super excited to see all those movement so i'll see you on the next upload closely it's cracking the chicken coming listen to the okay, with the uncle. listen to the sound Chicken is coming out, guys. Chicken is coming out. Just leave it on top of the incubator. I think he's extra warm. It is coming out, guys. Hopefully, I catch it when he's actually coming. He's coming out. I can hear the sound. Oh, the chicken are doing business, guys. He's doing his business. They're about to come out. Listen to the sound. Oh, I can see movement right there, guys. He's breaking it. Wow. I can hear the chirping, so I hope you could hear it too. Look right there. Yeah, he's knocking it, he's rocking it. Oh, it's not beautiful to see. Wow. Chicken a hatch, guys. Experiment work. Excitement! Wow, one chicken ready to go. <laughs> How much days is today, guys? Twenty third. So it takes twenty three days. So when the moving get more, I show you. Wow, 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 wow. He's actively moving. He wants to get out. So get on with it. Crack your egg. 
I don't want to help you. I want you to do it all by yourself. Come on, egg. Come on, chick chick. Wow, I can't believe, guys. The experiment work. We're having our own chicken. Wow. And it's going to stay it is superb. Wow. He's doing his business. Breathing heavily. It's hard work. I need to go and get his container, his home. His temper, babe, stop shaking me, please. He's going to try to get his temper home ready for him. So when he comes out, he can have some fresh sawdust. So I got the sawdust already. And I'm going to go downstairs, but I don't want to miss the pro process, guys. I want to see everything. So I need to go downstairs, get the sawdust ready. So when he comes out, he have a nice fluffy bed to roll in. The sawdust is in the sun. He's nice and hot today, so it should be nice warm temperature for it for him so i can see moving there should i help him guys should i help to crack the egg should i help him or should i let him stay and do it himself what do you think i'm trying not to help him i want him to do it himself he have come this far so i'm just keeping my eye on the temperature have it open so i need to close it back soon so he can go back up now he's at 36 so, yes, guys, things happening. We can still hear the sound. You know, the peeping have started. The whole process. But we don't know how long it's going to take. Probably a couple hours. And I have somewhere to go. And I don't have a camera to set up to watch it. But hopefully, we won't miss it. You can see what's going on there. So, you know, it's cracking the egg. And you can see him there actively doing his thing. So what I did, I went away and prepared a home for him. So here's a home, guys. I just got a cardboard box. And I put some bin liner. Because you know when they just actually they want as much warmth as possible. So the black plastic would be extra warm for them. And then I got some sawdust. Fresh sawdust from the wood mill. For the nice soft bedding for them. So... The bed is all prepared. So it's just a cardboard box with some bin liner and then some sawdust in place. So guys, you don't know how long I'm going to take and I really don't want to miss it. It can take 5 to 7 hours. Something can take 24 hours. So we're not sure guys. But hopefully we see all of it and we won't miss it. So, this is just the initial stage. It's so nice, guys, to see movement after all these days. Something happening. And, guys, make sure to keep it warm. Keep it in the incubator as much as my son is tempted just to have it in his hand to hear him. Hear the bird and see the movement and feel the kicks and everything. We need to keep it warm. We don't want a disabled chicken, guys. So it's very crucial when the cracking and the hatching start to keep it warm based on what I've read. So the next update, guys, hopefully the chicken head will be showing. So I see you guys soon. For hours, the chicken is ready to come out, guys. You're going to take him out, Avante? So you need to take him out. Oh, no. Poor chicken. Sorry, chicken. Take him out then. You know, I've been... Been out for ages. Poor chick chick. So we're taking him to his new home there. So we've been out for nearly seven hours. Oh poor thing. I'm so sorry, chick chick. We couldn't make it back home any earlier. So I need to go and get you some food. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're so cute. We need to get him some water. Let's see if any more he's cracking. He's getting some food. Okay. So guys, I've got some cornmeal and some water. And I'm going to put it down. But I don't want him to um, throw it all over. So hopefully, if I put a stone in it. Hold on. I'll probably put a cornmeal in my hand like this. Then... The camera my hand like this put the stone down and then put the caramel on top it will balance it somewhat so he doesn't 
it doesn't um tip it over and then the same with the water hopefully i need a smaller stone guys so i need to look for a smaller stone and put it in and then that way he won't tip it over as well i can't find a stone guys i'm looking for a stone i need a smaller stone so i'm gonna find a small smaller stone and then put it in the water as well and then it should be fine he's big he's a big big chicken wow look at chick chick you're so cute Aww. how can you possibly fit in such a duck tiny egg look hold on eat eat he wants to walk into your hand but he wants it to fall off fun a smaller stone just put it in the water like that and hopefully he won't tip it over. Hopefully he will locate it soon and have some food. As I said, we've been out for seven hours. I don't know when he came out totally. But he's in good health, guys. And I'm hoping tomorrow another one will crack. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow another one will crack. So that's it for now, guys. And hopefully... In 24 hours, we can show you another one, okay? I provided him with a little light to keep him warm because he's only young. Then I've blend some oat and some seeded mix in here. I don't have no chick food. So hopefully, this will keep him busy and okay for the night. So the warm the warm from the light and everything should keep him happy. See that he's only hours old. I don't even know if his hours are minutes. I don't know when he was born. Because I was out. So that's it. So I have his water here. Then he have a little food. Then he have his light. So hopefully that will be fine for the day. So tomorrow I should hopefully show you another baby turn around so they can see you you're so cute look at the camera come on look this way don't be shy he doesn't want to look for you guys turn around and look for the camera turn around oh, come on turn around all right lady I, whatever you are turn around he just wants to sleep he's tired all that hard work coming to land so hopefully guys that's what it's gonna be like for tonight he's gonna have his light to keep his company and his food and then hopefully tomorrow he will have company so that's it for now day after so he had a restful night sleep and you can see he's all fluffed out and everything now we did provide him like a, a different light last night the one i put in was warm enough so i use one of my go light from a plant so you could get some extra warmth and the fact that it was in one and not having a one to cuddle up with. So I provided him like a light and then I just put a little towel over here last night for extra warmth. And then I gave him a combination of brown rice, um, mixed seeds, oatmeal and cornmeal. So he was there picking just the rice grain and he drank some water and you can see... He's all fluffed out. I've checked the other eggs already. I haven't seen any cracks in them yet. I'm hoping he will get a company. You can see him eating. He's happy. Oh, so happy for my little chick chick. So yes, guys, we did it from start to finish. It is such a lovely journey. If the others come out, I'll let him know. But I'm going to wrap up this now. And this is the conclusion, guys. 100% successful. I get my own chicken hatching the incubator and we're super happy the boys are happy the experiment worked and now they have a little pet that they are playing with non-stop so yes guys we can do our own little chicken hatching our own little chicken instead of going and buying them we can just get some eggs get a little incubator and with patience guys we can have our own little chicken in our backyard. So thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. Do comment if you have done this before. And let me know the pros and cons of it. 
and i see you on the next video so until next time now take care bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell